This is a VDV 500-820. This is a generator. This is the toner. Let me show you how to use this the best way. All right, so the best way to use these, this black goes on the ground, not the ground of your circuit, a true grounded system. Tie it to whatever is an established ground. That usually works the best. If you tie it to just the ground and what you're working on, it may not have a reference back to a ground source, especially if you're working on that circuit and it's like a new circuit and you're trying to tone things out and identify. You want to tie this to a known ground source. In the past, I've actually used customers' ovens with alligator clamps just to get this on the hinge because it was the closest thing that I could get to physically attach this to because the wire that I was tracing was melted in half and there was no good ground reference and yeah so you want to tie this to ground this goes on the wire that you're trying to find or try to identify so this ties to that wire this ties to that ground. Now, when you turn this on, and you turn this on, you'll notice it has just an irritating tone, and this video is going to be a little irritating. You might want to turn the volume down. So, right now it's just on straight tone. What you want to do is you want to turn it to alternating tones like that and you want to get this thing dialed in uh, a lot of people think that you use this by listening the best way to use this is by using this indicator light here and you'll see this indicator light will light up as we get closer now what you want to do is you want to turn this all the way down that's that's the low button. Some of these have dials. You want to get this all the way in the lowest setting you possibly can. And you want to go to what you're trying to trace out. So again, you're not going off of the, the noise. You're not listening for the different pitch and volume. You're, you're really looking at this indicator light. You can use it by listening to the different volumes. The most accurate way is by going off of this light, and I'll show you why. So we're on tone. And you'll notice the light is not turning on, which is good. We don't want the light to turn on because what happens, you could get into a box with a bunch of wires. And if this thing is set too sensitive, it's going to be going off on all your wires. You only want this thing to light up when you touch that one wire. You see here, we don't have any lights here. And you want to bump this up. You want to increase your sensitivity until you see a light without touching it. So just go on the insulation. And just push this button until you start to see a light. There, now we've got a faint light. I'm going to bump it down one more. Alright, so go back up. Now you're ready to start tracing your wire. A lot of people make the mistake, they turn this thing on. Even the instructions don't explain this very well. This is just from years and years and hours of troubleshooting and using these tone generators. It really takes experience to know exactly the best way to use these. Like I said, you can use them both ways. This is the most accurate way to use these. I actually found a wire that was whoever pulled it it didn't make it all the way into the switch box and it was halfway inside the conduit the conduit was not metal so we were able to trace it it was carflex and it was coming down towards the switch for a pergola and 
I actually found the missing switch leg that didn't make it all the way down to the switch box. It was like eight inches up from the box inside of the conduit. And I'm sitting there looking at the homeowner and the thing's making the noise on the, and I'm like, look, I wouldn't ask you this if I didn't have so much experience with these tone generators. But what this thing is telling me is that this wire is right here in this flex. And as unbelievable as that sounds, I convinced the homeowner to let me cut into that flex. And I, I mean, I was even nervous cutting it myself because I was confident with the toner and how many years I'd used the thing and I knew what it was telling me. But still, you're, you're cutting flex what would which could be for no reason and then you got to redo i mean it would just be a nightmare so anyway long story short we ended up finding this wire a you know six or seven inches above the switch inside the actual raceway and it was it was a pretty cool feeling to find something it was almost like i had x-ray vision but anyway these things are capable of that the, these things can trace things like that if it's in conduit not so much uh, Carflex or if you're just trying to identify things Romex and walls especially with residential this thing works really well and I can tell you right now even though it is cheap plastic they put like an over mold on this and this does not feel like a piece of crap most of these feel like an absolute piece of garbage and they've got just the right amount of molding on this I don't know how long this is gonna last I've, I've only had this for a couple of weeks uh, a couple of days but I can tell you right now this already feels way better than half of the crap that I've had before I've had about six different tone generators of all different brands now this thing's already lighting up and I'm not even that close to this wire so you can see it drives me crazy so you can see we're leaving this thing all the way up on the highest woodwork, but in a crowded junction box or whatever you're trying to do, you can see that the best way it is, is to dial this thing in based on this light. Also, this thing has a little flashlight built on it. Um, I don't know if that's useful or not. I, I suppose in a box, I, I don't know. I could have done without the flashlight. So it's it's got some other features, but that's why you buy these is for the tone generator. And this looks like it might be a pretty good one. It doesn't feel like a piece of crap, and it doesn't use 9-volt batteries. So it should be pretty good. Uh, also, I have yet to accidentally bump this on. Almost all of these turn themselves on, and then you go to use them, and they're out of battery. So got a couple of things going for this. Alright, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.